to DIY Solar Homestead. So you see the picture on the on the cover. I'm so happy that we got the Outback Flex Max hooked up to four of the big blues. It's a 12 volts, so it'll only take in 1,000 watts an hour. If it was 24 volts, which I might switch that over soon, but then I can take in 2,000 watts an hour. This is what we're looking at. I didn't do any of the settings, but I'm taking in power now. Get the battery up there. And I believe this is the weather for the next day or two. Let me show you what I got downstairs. There you go. It may not be pretty, but it's working. I don't see my flashlight. But, I still got to go over all the settings. But anyway, whoops. We're doing it, Sarge. Point two kilowatt charge so far, and and I need to look this up ASAP. US L16E, and go for the settings at how how I'm gonna uh, load that. I don't see my paper right now. But I got to go through and figure it all out. And it's messy down here because everything gets moved around for every little project. But I did burn the stove off. And it's looking funny because I jacked it up. Because all the smoke, there's no lip on the front side. All the smoke comes out the front. But I got the double wall elbow, the double wall there. So it should be in a... I'm not making full fires out of that. Still has a little bit of leak. I gotta fix this part here. But if the power goes out and there's no heat, I'll have a little something. That'll only be for emergencies only. And I got this little heater back up. And I got a propane. But we got this going. And this is pretty awesome. I still got these five that need to be refurbished, four is inside there, so there's nine ones in the garage. Hooked up to that wind generator out there. And then I got to get just 12 batteries, thinking I'm going to put them back here. And I got a shelf back there that I want to build a board similar to this, and then hook up the electronics better than this. But this right now is the power coming on. The on off before it goes in. The on off between the batteries. I got an on off switch down here for it to go to the inverter. I haven't turned the inverter on yet. So 1000 watts an hour is not going to run the refrigerator with all these cloudy days. So I'm not in a hurry to change that over to 2000 watts yet to 24 volts so I can take in 2000 through the flex max but yeah I just took two days off uh, and, and, and I'm running I'm running doing everything I can usually being a youtuber <laughs> I get done watching all the videos the science and the, the climate stuff we got a corona black hole facing earth right now and it's stretching down from the center down to the 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 south pole on the sun so we're going to get some cosmic ray flux coming in for the next i think it might hit today or tomorrow so that's going to affect our weather a little bit so i like to play the astrology stuff <laughs> sometimes to, to to know the weather. Adapt 2030, suspicious observers, smash o mash, and let's not forget our our brother, Southern Ohio, Solar Homestead. Yeah. So 
Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get out to the garden. I got another trip of, of plants from the garden. We've had a couple frost already, but the, 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 the trees, I guess, are saving the garden. And I'm trying to get those plants to the indoor garden. And that's a mess. <laughs> All the roots got to be rinsed off completely so that we don't bring bugs into the house. Last year I had brought in spider mites. It was in the soil, I believe. So, and I got that under control. That was a mess. So anyway, short and sweet. I'm doing it, Sarge. I'm doing it. So, it'll get improved, but we got things happening constantly. And you have a nice solar day.